situation with Kaltura. Some of our core value as a hardware provider and a integrator with Kaltura um, actually starts with our hardware. Uh, we do provide a open hardware stack uh, that's built on Linux and one of the unique features that we do is we're capable of mixing and matching multiple AV input types uh, depending on your room uh, configuration needs. Uh, if you're doing two source, three source, four source, or even five source, uh, you could mix and match uh, SDI, HDSDI, DVI, HDMI, and really get uh, professional feeds uh, that match your current AV requirements. Um, one of the best things to look at is how advanced is your classroom. At a minimum, minimal, uh, you might be looking at a uh, video camera feed as well as a camera output. Um, in certain occasions, you might want to record from all the different devices they use, uh, such as a digital microscope, uh, document camera, digital whiteboard, maybe two uh, computers. And we'll show you the end result of what that means actually in the end. Uh, but at the end of the day, the hardware is open. Uh, all the components can be easily managed and purchased uh, off the shelf by uh, your team. Uh, so it gives you a longer shelf life than uh, most of our uh, competitors that are out there. Um, and a lot of configuration and room for growth as your network or AV changes. Uh, we do provide a flexible API. Uh, this API allows a lot of integration with room control systems. Uh, so if you have a Crestron or AMX interface uh, that a faculty member is already using, uh, integrating the Katera unit in it uh, becomes very simple for uh, really any room control programmer to uh, make a connection with. Uh, AV monitoring, a unique calendar integration, really anything that's outside of the box uh, we provide through our RESTful web service uh, uh, which is a very nice API uh, for really extending and enhancing and creating custom workflows around your capturing needs. Uh, we also offer a series of simple AV tools. Uh, this could be looked at as a capture scheduler, media manager, video editor, uh, which we like to coin the video clipper, uh, metadata manager, uh, really just different tools for you to manage, maintain, and create very intelligent workflows uh, for capturing, encoding, delivering, and enhancing uh, your recordings. Um, we've also done a very deep uh, integration with Kaltura via their API. Uh, so outside of authenticating and uploading media, uh, we do some interesting things with metadata for uh, the video as well as the timeline that we'll share with you shortly. What we're known for is multi-video. Uh, that's one of the things that we could bring to the table and have a very nice learner playback experience to where every source that uh, the teacher uses in the room is recorded independently. Uh, as I mentioned before, recording the screen and the camera is usually our base uh, configuration, uh, but for environments that have three to four or five, um, and even sometimes six devices that uh, need to be recorded from, uh, we're capable of doing that. And we provide a nice multi-video player uh, experience to allow the learners to switch between the videos in real time. Uh, due to the fact that they're fully synchronized and work together. Uh, each of the recordings is uh, encoded in H.264 AAC uh, at the proper HD resolutions and, and good frame rates that you would come to expect uh, with multi-source recording. Uh, so each of the uh, encoded files have their own profile, so setting proper frame rates and resolution uh, could be done um, uh, on the fly per source. Um, and each of these recordings can produce an HD quality uh, feed. Uh, we also focus on automation. Uh, that's one of our big pieces with Kaltura is uh, we provide a mechanism called templates and templates gives you the capability of defining unique workflows for defining what devices you want to record from, uh, how do you want to record from them, uh, what encoding do you want to put on them, uh, maybe initiating a live broadcast uh, setting up aut automation of uh, chapter points for PowerPoint, adding certain metadata. Uh, there's a whole hybrid of different needs that you would have for creating uh, basically a workflow to create a true end-to-end -end capture and publishing mechanism to where there's uh, very little involved in post um, uh, by any admin uh, to make happen. Um, so that's another unique feature that we have with Kaltura. Uh, I did mention in the template process that you can define a live broadcast. Uh, we are known for multi-source recording, but you can send a live broadcast, uh, even a composite of the different uh, sources that you have plugged in, as a streaming uh, uh, to a streaming endpoint uh, that you have set up with Kaltura. Uh, so part of the process would be defining what you want to capture and what you want to upload, but defining uh, 
what uh, uh, stream endpoint uh, allows you to create a very simple record, broadcast live and upload on demand uh, workflow uh, for viewers to see if they've missed the live stream. So that's part of our template process and also part of the recording process that we have and our live encoding aspect of our technology. Uh, the appliance is robust. Uh, we focus on back-to-back -back recording. Uh, one of the unique features that we have is we're able to do uh, low to high bandwidth resumable uploading to Kaltura on the back end uh, even while a recording is happening. Uh, so setting up a continuous back-to-back -back recording even up to 8 to 10 hours a day is achievable and providing uh, tools for you to uh, streamline that to the back end allows a complete automation of recording and uploading uh, in a very robust mission critical environment. And one of the last features that I'm going to mention, and you'll see a lot of this in action here shortly, is video metadata. Uh, it's kind of uh, uh, pinnacle to our, our encoding platform, uh, but we're able to associate video as well as timeline based metadata. Um, and most of this metadata does map to Kaltura. Um, so we're going to show some of the unique integration points of how we could help in post production. Uh, as well as just enhancing the overall media, which saves time um, and uh, gives you more accuracy in deploying engaging content. So real quickly, what we're going to do is sh jump to a demo. Um, th this is just a really quick screenshot. Um, what the multi-source player is all about is switching between live streams in real time. So if I'm a student and I'm eight minutes into a presentation and the teacher focuses uh, they're the topic around what they're doing on a document camera as a user I can now switch at that time point to the document camera watch that in full HD and when done actually switch back to the main media or a different piece of media uh, all the media that we record is uh, in sync uh, together and you're able to switch think of it as a live switch uh, between these recordings in real time based on the the current time of the playhead uh, we also synchronize uh, PowerPoint, Prezi, or Keynote presentations uh, with your video source. So while we're able to record the video source in full motion, uh, we do generate slides for each of those uh, programs uh, to generate a table of contents and a slide navigation and interaction widget with the new Capture Space product, which I'll show here uh, shortly. So before we end the presentation, let me jump quickly and I am recording the hardware. What we're looking at is actually a live feed of the hardware interface itself. Uh, I've access to the Chrome browser um, but I'm going to jump to another unit that we have online uh, just to show you uh, an important integration piece. I did mention templates. You define uh, what you want to record from. Um, just randomly pick some things here. Uh, how do you want to encode it? So obviously you have the capability of recording these uh, independently with their own encoding. Uh, I mentioned a mix, which is a composite of all the different sources. Think of it as a picture-in-picture -picture or maybe a quadrant setup to where you do a 16 by 9 canvas and lay each video source in its own proper area. Uh, you could define uh, PowerPoint slide segmentation in OCR uh, for a particular source. And this is where you would actually publish the Kaltura information. So you put a little bit of the authentication information in here. Once it's identified, uh, it will pull back the proper categories associated with that account. So if you're publishing not only to Kaltura, but maybe Mathematics 101, which is a particular category that a particular media owner, uh, which could be a faculty member, has access to, uh, you could associate the media directly to that category as well as who the media owner is. And what this does is allows direct moderation to the media owner. Um, you don't have to go in there from an admin perspective and sign, assign those ownerships. Uh, so we do a lot of direct mapping uh, th from that direction. Now this template could also run a live stream. So coming in here and setting up a Kaltura endpoint is just a few configuration points. Uh, outside, of the outside of the recording that we do, you could actually run different quality settings on video and quality for your streaming endpoint, depending on your network configuration, you might want to tweak that. Um, but then it becomes a streaming, as well as a Kaltura on-demand um, uh, publishing, it becomes a live streaming endpoint as well. Uh, we'll store this one locally as well. Oh, let me give this a name. Oh, we have fake information here, so it's actually doing the right job saying this is not properly authenticated. So I'm going to go ahead and close that out. And actually, let's jump to the final product. Uh, so what we're looking at now is a Capture Space player. We do work with the Media Space player. 
Uh, the only difference is the media space, media space player that we have, uh, which is an open source project. Uh, so you're, f uh, you're free to tweak it. Uh, basically, it's the same as this. It gives you a drop down of all the recorded sources. And no matter where you're at in the timeline, uh, you could switch to that source and it loads it at the proper timeline. Uh, but what we're looking at real quick, let me close this down, is a multi-source recording that's integrated with Capture Space, uh, which has slides uh, integrated uh, in, with, in it with as well. So what we're looking at, as you notice, this slide changed. Uh, this is a video of slide two, so if there's an embedded video, we're obviously going to capture that in full motion. Uh, but you could tell as uh, this progresses, the slide down here should change. Um, but you could also switch different perspectives. So let me load this in here. So slide three is at the right perspective. And now I want to watch the document camera. Uh, now I want to switch to another source. Maybe I want to watch the calculator. And that's obviously at uh, slide four. Let me load this back. And again, we're at slide four. So let me pause this quickly. And what we're looking at is a way to really toggle in real time between all the sources that we've recorded. Uh, but with the Capture Space Player, you get a few extra elements. You get an automated table of contents. So we know that PowerPoint was being moved at a certain rate on slide four, and we've mapped the timings with that. Uh, we've also created a slide. Uh, that's one of the new features with Kaltura, is their slide synchronization. So if I just wanted to look at the slides only, I could do that. If I could look slide by slide, I could do that as well. Um, switch content around. Um, and that follows between sources as well. So switching even back to uh, let's say the calculator view, I could view the slides with that or view them one by one or switch the slides only. So this unique feature with Capture Space takes better uh, uh, use of our integration that we do with Kaltura from a metadata perspective. But again, a lot of this was, uh, all of it was uh, um, automated with the exception of title and placement which you set within the templates. Uh, so with the slide segmentation and the OCR, those are things that we could map and automatically play back in Kaltura, uh, whether it's media space or capture space. So in a nutshell, that's the demonstration. Um, we obviously offer, offer more as a product, uh, a recording product. If you're interested in seeing um, more about what we do, uh, definitely reach out to us. We do run free trials. Uh, we focus on uh, schools or uh, just really organizations that have the proper AV environment uh, that have Kaltura set up and are really uh, ready to actually test and get good results. Uh, we uh, do very well in back-to-back -back recording environments so if you have the time where uh, the test bed is appropriate we're uh, capable of sending you out a free trial unit for 30 to 60 days uh, to really give a test on your own end. Uh, you can look at the quality, you can look at the integration and the robust, robustness of the product. Uh, was it able to handle back-to-back -back recordings in HD? Um, and was it reliable from an API perspective? So usually within 30 to 60 days, all those questions will be answered uh, because you'll have a product that's uh, natively integrated with your appliance, uh, with your existing AV uh, uh, infrastructure. So feel free to reach out to us. Uh, we have our telephone listed here on the screen, uh, or you could email us directly or go to our website. We have a contact page. Uh, if you go to kateravideo.com forward slash Kaltura, you'll find more information about the integration itself. Uh, if you're wanting to learn more, you could obviously contact us and we could do a personal demo and uh, do a deeper dive into uh, different areas that I've shown you in this presentation. So again, thank you very much. And I am going back to the unit uh, that is running the recording. So we'll stop here uh, real quickly. You can see it's a live preview of myself. So this was a live recording of our hard, uh, uh, using our hardware unit itself. Again, thank you very much and hope to hear from you soon.